Hello valued viewers, I hope you're doing wonderfully well. First of all, apologies for my voice, I cannot get rid of this awful cold, but we're going to push on anyway. For the last couple of years, you guys have asked if we can do Sweden versus Russia. What happened if Russia wanted to take on Sweden? Could they defend themselves? And I've been putting it off because we just haven't had enough technology in game to make it worthwhile. We're in late 2022 now, and we now have that tech, so we're going to run it. Overview. This is the southern tip of Sweden here, and Russia are going to attack it from their nearest station here, Kaliningrad. This here is the Baltic Sea. The main points they will be attacking is the naval port at Karlskrona here. Research. Today, done by Combat Ineffective. Please see his channel linked in the video description. First, the defense. 20 kilometers away from Karlskrona, is Ronby Airport. There are 20 scramble-ready Gripens there. The primary weapon is going to be the Meteor air-to-air -air missile. Next, pictures of the base. They will be Jazz 39C Gripens. E-models are not available at this time. More about Karlskrona Naval Base. Why is Russia attacking it as the primary target? Well, the thing Russia is most scared of from Sweden is her submarines. Five are kept at Karlskrona, two Söderman class submarines, three Gotland class submarines. Russia want to destroy as many of these as possible before they can leave the port. Also there are two Stockholm class corvettes and two Visby corvettes. Also three patrol boats and auxiliary vessels. Some pictures, patrol ships here, submarines here and a couple of Visbys here. Ronneby Air Base in relation to Karlskrona. And here is our interpretation. Russia will be performing a surprise naval attack with their Baltic fleet on Karlskrona. Sweden will be scrambling their nearby assets and trying to defend. I needed to make the Russian Baltic fleet strong enough to stand a chance of doing this attack. And so I had to bend history a little bit. In fact, this is actually going to be an alternate history vision of 2022. Let's pretend that for the last five years or so, Russia have really worked hard to get their refitted carrier, the Kuznetsov, up and running, and their 24 MiG-29 KR squadron operational on that carrier, and they have a fully working carrier group. Let's pretend that there was no war between Ukraine and Russia. That would have been nice. So Russia have got a fully working fleet, and they've moved it into the Baltic for this attack. Second bit of role play, why isn't the Russian fleet attacking from Kaliningrad, about 200 miles over here? Why are they attacking from this bit of Poland? That, unfortunately, is because, well, as you can see, we don't actually have this piece of terrain modeled. We've had to use Cyprus and Turkey and Syria. It's just current game restrictions. So obviously, if I put them there, that's actually in the middle of Syria. So they're attacking from here. How did they get here undetected or unintercepted? Well, again, role play. They were doing a peacetime operation, apparently, where they were moving through the Baltic to the North Sea, hugging the Polish coast, and then they sprung a surprise attack. And that's where we're going to start the scenario here. Next, let's look at the details of the fight. Now, I'm aware most of you skip this and go straight to the boom boom. In this case, it's going to be quite important to understand what's going on and the technologies we're using. And there are lots of new technologies today. Why don't we start with the Russians first? They are going to base their attack, I guess you would say, around these assets, new assets in game. Five, Rapucha LSTs. I think they're called alligators as well. Sorry if I've got that wrong. They are transport vessels full of tanks and Russian troops. And they're going to move to the southern tip this way here to unmount and do their attack. The Rapuchas are defended by this guy here. Oh, and this guy here as well, really. So you've got a Kirov battle cruiser, massive 28,000 ton thing. And they've also got another legacy ship here, a Slava cruiser. Now, these are very big vessels, but they're not actually very effective in modern combat. Both of them are Cold War relics. They're 40 years old. The weapons are pretty much out of date for modern combat. And as we saw in the sinking of the Moskva, which was a Slava cruiser just a few months ago by what was really no more than a couple of early 90s KH-35 subsonic missiles, they can't even defend themselves. None of their systems really work anymore. 
They're there really more as showpieces and a bit of heavy gunnery. The actual firepower is coming from the new vessels. We have four 2018 Spec Gorzhkov frigates here. These are what are going to be doing the big punch. Let's have a look at these in more detail. It's a subclass from Gorzhkov. Uh, what we've got here is Admiral Kazatinov. Main weapons that we're interested in are eight caliber anti-ship missiles. Also, four P-800 Onyx supersonic anti-ship missiles and each have four caliber anti-land cruise missiles. For defense, 24 very modern S-350 ground-to-air missiles and some shorter range missiles. I don't really understand what these are. I think they're a bit like SA-15 Tor type missiles. Their orders are to first try and wipe out any Swedish shipping in the area. So they're going to send out their supersonic anti-ship missiles towards Coles Corona, which will find, seek and destroy any Swedish vessels there to give access for the anti-land cruise missiles, which will follow three minutes later. Those anti-land cruise missiles fired in salvo to be as effective as possible will target Coles Corona port. Here's Coles Corona port and the five submarines, which is used generic submarines. Why are they not in the docks in the port? If I put them in there, they suddenly become invincible, which is really annoying and got me really frustrated. The only way I can fix it is to move them outside the port. Whatever is the best we can do. So it's very important today that Sweden stop those caliber missiles. Next, their role play refitted Kuznetsov carrier. She will be carrying 24 MiG-29 KRs, her new squadron. They are carrying six. Remember, this is alternate reality where Russia got their S together. So in this reality, they did release the R-77M and they've got them here today. Modern long-range missiles, range of over 100 miles, and we'll have a bit of a look at that. They are purely here to defend the attack from any Gripen attack from Sweden. They also have an AWACS, it's fixed wing, which Russia would not be using. They would be using a helicopter, and hence I've just put it about 10,000 feet to simulate being a helicopter. That is the Russian attack. It's all based around getting all of the missiles out as fast as they can. One thing we've learned in naval combat is you've got to fire as many vampires as you can, overwhelm Aegis or whatever it is you're fighting. Anti-land cruise missiles will go in, pop over the top, do the damage, then landing craft will go and try and make their landings. On to Sweden. Sweden is defending in really bad weather. Russia has chosen this bad weather on purpose to help get its surprise attack. Start with the port. We've got the submarines. They will not be, they will basically just be targets today. They won't have time to dive. So Sweden have got to protect the submarines until they can dive. Ship. We first have the four Corvettes. Uh, we've got four Visbys we're using here because that's what we have access to. Two are moving southeast to intercept the fleet, and two are moving southwest to block the path of the LSTs. A closer look at the Visby. 40 knots capable. She defends from the air with 24 CAM modular missiles. These are, if you like, modified as rams. She also has anti-ship missiles which you will be using today, eight RBS-15 Mark IVs with a range of 300 kilometers, 150 miles. Also, really important, a 57mm Bofors automatic radar guided gun which is rated to shoot down supersonic missiles so it's a pretty hardcore vessel. There will be patrol boats for what it's worth, three of, STRB-90 mainly guns, they won't get in range of their uh, Hellfire type missiles. Defending in the port in terms of surface to air missiles is RBS 98. It's a giraffe radar and four launchers, each launcher, four low to medium range Iris T missiles. So that's what's defending the port. Although their range is not particularly good, they can shoot down pretty much anything. Very effective missile system. Scattered along the southern coast here are five of these vehicles RBS 15. Ka each carrying four RBS-15 Mark IV with a range of over 150 miles. These missiles, like the missiles from the Visby and anywhere else, pretty much are going to be guided by data link. So that's really important to know about today. Speaking of data link, provided today by an AWACS is not the right kind that Sweden uses. In fact, I'm not even sure what Sweden uses. Let me know if you know anyone, but I'm assuming it's a wedge tail or something like that. Uh, anyway, 100 or so miles up there. A distance, I forgot to say, is 100 miles as per real life. Let's look at Ronby Airport. About the right distance from the port as per real life. She is defended by another RBS-98 site here. 
And what you'll probably know as a Patriot site here, Swedish variant LVS-103 composite site with three support vehicles. It's going to have four Pack 2 launchers, which are the most modern of the Pack 2 Patriot missiles, range about 80 miles, and two of the Pack 3 launchers. These ones here that carry 16 missiles, much lower range, about 20 or 30 miles, but anti-ballistic and much more accurate. And finally, the heroes and the human pilots today are going to be in Gripens, of course. We've got Grump, Poosh, Simba, Bird, Cannibal, Fyder, RB, Wardog. Say hello, guys. Hello, my dude. Hello, oh, guys. Hello, guys. Mm -hmm. guys. You will scramble as soon as you want. You must use the runway. One thing you've got to learn about Sweden is they never cut corners and they're super honest. Each Greep and C is equipped with the following. A very simple scramble loadout of four meteors and two. I've actually got Azrams here. They would use RSTs in real life, but for what it's worth today, it's near enough. You guys have one job, really. You guys are the closest Swedish airbase for 150 miles. It's going to take them a while before reinforcements can get in here. I think Sweden realizes it's not going to destroy the Russian Baltic fleet. It's got to do the best it can to defend its shore until reinforcements, extra Gripens, ground attack Gripens can get here. You guys have got to get up, you've got to get high, you've got to get fast, and you've got to destroy those MiGs. The Russians will be using their roleplay M77Ms. These are solid rocket motor with a range of just over 100 miles. You guys have got a Meteor, arguably better missile as long as it's used properly. No, it's an air breathing engine. It doesn't make much power. So if you remember, you've got to get high 40,000 feet to use it and shoot down on the baddies. That's the only way to get legs on it, to get it up to speed. So just remember that when you're fighting with this missile, guys. My recommendation is probably head inland, maybe northwest, until you're up to about 20,000 feet. Then do a reversal, head towards the bad guys. By the time you're crossing the coast, you should be at 40,000 feet, maybe supersonic, and then you can start plugging your 100 mile missiles with proper parameters, rather than just charging towards them and possibly getting wiped out because they'll probably be in the air before you. That's it. I've got no other restrictions. You guys can keep respawning until you've used all 20 airframes up. The score counter will tell me when you've you know died 20 times, and then I'll tell you to stop spawning. Okay, you all appear to be ready. Simba Wimba, please unpause the server in 3, 2, 1, go. We're in. We're in. Right. Nothing's gone weird. Okay, where to start? Let's have a look at the uh, Russians. Ah, stuff's getting fired already. Caliber missiles. Huge swathes of missiles coming out from either side of these. Uh, what are they? Are they Gorshkovs, basically, aren't they? Have a look at the carrier. Come out in front of me, Simba.
Oh, the Swedes have retaliated a whole bunch of RBS 15s out from the Visby Corvettes, out from the, um, the, 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 the land launchers. This is what it's going to be, a massive vampire on vampire attack. Let me have a look at my guys. Simba is airborne. Go Simba. Wow, look at that crosswind. Remember guys, I suggest getting some altitude before heading towards them because Meteor. Watch out for that freaking crosswind. Right, greet them's airborne. Good luck guys. And just going to check missiles. Okay, we've got... Caliber cruise missiles. These are slow ass missiles, so they'll go to the back. They'll be the last ones to hit. We've got the uh, caliber anti ship missiles, much lower, much faster missiles. The P800, there's an Onyx. If I can grab it, Onyx. Oh, hello. Look at that. Just gonna have a look at the RBS 15s. Wow, this is gonna happen really quickly, isn't it? I don't know, probably 50 RBS 15s. These are Mark 4s, I think. Look how low they. Oh, I thought it was going to crash there. Look how low they go to the sea. Very hard to intercept these modern Mark 4s. Look how many. Okay, Moskva's been firing. Wow, Moskva is angry. All 16 tubes of Moskva's fired. Like I said at the beginning, the way to overwhelm anything is to just get as many missiles in the air. They all guide themselves. Uh, in the air as you can at once. I think even Pete the Great's been firing. I think he has. Rapuchas. I know they're not pronounced Rapucha. It's just what I've always called them and I thought they were spelt differently. So, uh, uh, Rapucha doesn't mean alligator, guys. What does it mean? Turtle or something. Toad. Toad. Yeah, Polish. Means toad. Man. Okay, my guys are coming in now. Guys are up to altitude. Well done, guys. Go and shoot their MiGs down. Ooh, nice bit of cloud. Laggy and jerky, but it will be today. There's a lot going on today. Uh, let's go and have a look at... Oh, the MiGs. Yep, of course. Holy crap, an R-77 has been fired. Actually, I can't say that, can I? But that has happened. Which worries me a lot. The distances are relatively small today. This part of the it's geography is 100 miles, you know. 100 miles for modern missiles. Meteors out for my guys. Call your shots out, guys. Woof. It's beautiful, guys. And ball Fox 3 home on jam. And you got altitude. That's what Meteor needs. Fox 3. Meteor only works up high. Drop Fox 3. Target burn through 80, 80 miles. Fox 3. Roger. Oh, my God. This missiles are freaking merging. With Cannonball Fox 3 going home. Oop, missile out on me. Yep. Grump uh, turning. Probably quite far away, so we've probably got time to... All things are about to happen, viewers. Look, can you see those... Fox 3. See those other missiles Fox there? Fox 3 home on jam. The massive batches of missiles have merged with each other. I think the too much to watch now. Trying to make some sense of it. Yeah, watching all these Fox 3s above me. Go, boys. Wow, look at all those meteors. Look at that. Well done, guys. That's my boys. Fox 3 and return. Get back to base. 
Okay, first meteor is about to strike down, I think. Is that gonna hit? Yes, it is. Is that gonna hit? I can ball, splash one. Well done. Nice. Splash two. Well done. Well done, guys. What a great start. Okay, S350s are out. It's an F350. Super good weapon. From 70 or 80 miles range. Miles range. Words. Words are hard. Yep, two MIGs down. <sighs> okay. Visbees are firing their uh, cams. These, these are ASRAM type missiles with different guidance. Yep, the MIGs are really struggling. They're taking off now and they're being chased by freaking meteors. Wowie. Splash three. Nice work, guys. And you've got a whole bunch more coming in. Right, I've got to concentrate what's important. What's important is these Visbees at the moment. Can they defend themselves? They only get 24 of these missiles. Oh my god, they're firing their boat. But look at that. They're shooting down anti ship missiles with their Sea Whiz and with their 57 mil. Did you see that? It just blew up on Onyx or something. I've not seen that before. Let me know if you get any more kills, guys. I'm busy doing naval stuff. <coughs> dang, 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 dang. Look, they're trying to target those missiles. It's going to get through. Oh, I got him. Bofo smacked him in the face. That's amazing. That one's going to... No, got him again. Oh, one got... <laughs> Look at that. Look at the trail it left. Oh, it got through. <coughs> <coughs> Ships are down. They're overwhelmed. Overwhelmed by the vampires. That's the problem. These guys are going to be okay. <coughs> Sorry, guys. <coughs> How's the air war going? Grumps down. There were four. You get to respawn, guys. Remember, you got 20 aircraft there. Get another one. Get up. Uh, don't let the MiGs get on top of you. Um, there are four airborne at the moment. And so, yeah, get out there, do more stuff. Oh, you know what I've missed? All these RBS, what's been hit here? Nothing has got through to hit the Russian fleet. But they could. There's, there's the S-350s to come out and shoot them. Again, the Russians only have so many missiles to defend. They will run out eventually. That there is a ship. What is it? That is... Oh, my God, look at that. What is action we've been missing? That is Peter the Great. That's a Kirov battlecruiser. That's something you don't see every friggin' day. Hey, I didn't think it was going to get through. Okay, uh, I guess we're watching. Here are the cruise missiles going for the subs, and no subs hit yet. This is kind of important. Summit's going for the Moskova. Not going to defend itself. Stupid old 80s tech. Why don't you defend yourself? I don't know. Whatever. Oh, we did. Big cash down. Uh oh, Peter Great's going to get overwhelmed. Where is the baddies? Bang! God, we got overwhelmed. It's going to get killed. Yep, Peter Great's been killed. Oof. Again. Two more MiGs down. Well done, guys. I have been watching. So keep the information coming. <coughs> Peter the Great's down. Moskva's hit. Oh, too much. Another MiG down. Five MiGs down. And one Peter the Great. Six, Six MiGs. MiGs down. <coughs> Amazing, guys. Wow. We. Meteors have been coming over the top. Seven MiGs down. Jesus Christ. I haven't even been noticing them happening. Oh, you know what? I've got to watch out. If I scroll in, scroll out one more time, I swear. Right. No submarines have been hit, and they're being scrambled. Little Swedish men, I shouldn't say that. Beautiful Swedish men are all getting ready to scramble in their submarine. Can they defend them in time? Oh, this, this guy here is going to defend them now. Uh, Iris. Oh! The missiles are used up. The missiles have all Eight been used down. up. Well done. The missiles have all been fired against that pre to help the Visbees. They've now not defenseless. The port is defenseless. Uh-oh. Well done, Simba. And guys, uh, these cams are still uh, still shooting down these... Uh... Jamball Fox 3. Uh, what do I want to watch? Probably got to watch these calibers are coming in. Nothing left to defend the submarines. Smash. One good and sub Jamball Fox 3. Well done, guys. Keep it going. Wow, look at the... Jamball Fox 3 times 2. The battlefield certainly cleared up. Two subs down. Gambo Fox 3, going home. Fox 3 times 3. Oh, there's something going off over there. Those are the Patriots firing. Look, the Patriots are firing from 20 kilometers away. To defend the submarines. Where are they? Yeah, there's the Patriots firing. Look, I would say that's probably too little too late. Mr. Patriot. Three submarines down. Yep. 
submarines are dead. Man, right, okay, stuff to watch here. Oh, shoot him down. Good splash. Oops. Ah! Cannonball, splash. Too many batons. These meteors are really performing. Well done for using them. Well, guys. Fox 3? What are Fox 3 times? Right. Oh, didn't get that No, point. Ricky Bobby! Ricky Bobby died. That took nice today. The ground welfare is pretty much done now. It's now air to air. Gotta take that squadron down, guys. Smack! Or slash line. Well done. Wow. Those meteors raining down. That was Splash. a fast impact. That's 11 megs down now, guys. And only and only four Greepens down. Well done. That's just that's just better play. Neither is better than the other. Meteor is more or less about as good as R77, you know, roughly within the same build length. These guys are set to A skill level, which is as good as I can set them. It's just humans fly, flying better than AIs flying. So, well done. That I mean, said, Crump camp. has been getting chased by this for the last half an hour. Yes, Simba Wimba. We set our humans to ace. Well, is that what we did today? Out. We got the ace. Got yeah. oh, one of you just got shot down. And Crump's got this thing sniffing his little grumpy ass. Crump's not interested. Near him. Near him somewhere. Oh, look, those are the two um, Corvettes. Still alive, look. Well done, boys, for surviving. Gonna go take the Rapuchas down. Still more meteors going in. Remember, these guys on data links, so the guys turn away and they'll just... Oh, good notch. No, nope, not good notch. Yes, good notch. Double notch. They turn away and the the, the AWACS, the wedge tail or whatever the heck it is, guides them in. All right, a whole bunch more RBS are coming from these Visbees, I think. Keep it going, guys. There's plenty more to shoot down. Let me go and have a look at the... Uh, I still carry it. Yeah, they're still pumping out their little Miggingtons. And you have got plenty of uh, airframes left. You've only died four times. R-77M. Will this thing ever go into service? Uh, you just don't know with Russia at the moment. Uh, you know, it's not looking likely. But, again, ultimate reality. I'm allowed to do this. Oh, look, those missiles. And that must be Simba. Is that a Simba out there? It is. Yep. He's just fired all those meteors off. Like, zang, zang, zang. Nice work, Simba. One of them's going to be a dud. I drop lock right as I released it. Yeah. Maybe AWAX will save me. This is tracking for sure. Oh no, yeah, no, no, yeah. Yeah, there he goes. <coughs> Excuse me. Notice how this thing burns, it'll burn all the way until it hits pretty much an air breathing engine on it. Look at it chase that poor MiG down. Dodging for a meat feature is a very difficult thing to do, that horrible thing. Fox 129 down. Well done, Simple Wimba. That's 12 down now. Oh, they have got worryingly close to you in some cases, so that's the only thing. The closer they get, the more difficult it is for you guys to get up. Oops, get up high and get those meteors working properly. Okay, we're gonna get a rare R seventy seven kill here, maybe. Good notch, war dog. Just uh, beat the missile, which is good. Okay, these look at these two home on this guy. Oof, not want to be that guy. Wherever he is. Oof. Look at it chasing. I am chasing you. I'm modern European technology. What's faster than a dive, a meteor or a MiG? A MiG? Fair play. Look at that. Oh, what is Flash. You've seen the problem with the meteor now, viewers. As it gets lower, it gets less powerful, essentially. Or, not quite true, but you know what I mean? It gets less fast. So he goes down, it gets slower. Meteor does not like low down, it just cannot function. Well done guys, good, one. good salvo of missiles there. Then that guy just escaped with his nuts. Literally with his nuts, he had to go so fast to defeat that. Uh oh, here's a thing. Jesus Crump, that took your paint off. Good notch, you guys are on friggin' form that. today. Only five groupments down. And it's all fair and square, you know. I Literally cannot make it any harder than this. Cannonball. Winchester headed home. I'm across track. Sometimes they will just lose track for reasons I don't know. Things have slowed down a little bit. Simba's coming off of the new jet. I've told them once they get back to the base, they don't have to land and rearm. They can just get in a new jet to come up. The reason is, in real life, there's, there are you know there are 20 planes and 20 pilots here, so it helps it be a bit more accurate to how it is. Grump, you're the only man out there. Good luck.
Oh, I'm out of missiles. Okay, going home. Yep, they only carry four long range missiles. So that's the main problem with the Jazz that you don't see, I think, anyway. Yep, I counted three. Ooh. My bad. Okay, good news is there's a, there's, a, there's a Corvette below Corvette below you defending you, Grump. That may be your saviour. We'll see, I guess. No dodging that. No dodging that, friend. Grump splash. So if these ass rams can get this tosh bag. Grump splash Ooh. two. These MIGs are so kinematically powerful. Very powerful aeroplanes. Always had respect Damn for 21. It. Talk us through it, break bird. Got airborne, was turning around to try and get a shot and then boop. Huh. You'll do that. They haven't fortunately got uh, the crash rate from me. Alright, you know what? You've only had six deaths, guys. That's pretty good. Uh oh. Cramp, you lucky SOB. I swear about three have bombed right within uh, words. It's all about reaction to the boo, 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 boo. There you go. Another one straight past his face. Well done. Come some man of the match today. See my fleet. Protect my fleet. There you go. They will protect you. They are literally firing at guys who are like a few miles away from you. But yep, you I see, see the missiles coming out. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. Go Sweden. Oh, there's oh, only... Got a bit jink. close. It's all right. Yeah. It was a good job to we, we lured them into our SAM net. It's a shame the Patriots are out of missiles. Okay, more Azrams going in. Well, you know what I mean. More or less Azrams, aren't they? So the way it works in a lot of European countries, Valley Views, we converted the Azram, which I think was British, I think, um, because it was a determined a decent missile and affordable, uh, into SAMs. The UK uses it pretty much exclusively for our land based SAMs now. Not making a great show today, but no, in fact, they've been completely beaten. Crazy MIGs. A MIG, uh, a crazy Ivan's got through and is facing up to you for a dogfight, uh, Grump, so just beware of that. Well, oh, I do have, uh, I do have heaters, don't I? Mm-hmm. A whole bunch more of RPS have gone out. Where did they come from? That is beyond me, viewers, where they came from. Some uh, debrief will have to tell me that. And if they had fired at the beginning, would have done more damage to the Baltic fleet? Probably. Something oh. about over G. Uh, something about eat more aubergines to get vitamin C. Oh, I've seen this before. It's a chase, dive chase between a meteor burning and a MiG-29 burning. MiG, uh, Mr. MiG Gurin decided to give that thing very powerful engines and good power to weight ratio, so... That was only going to end one way, but can he pull out? No, he couldn't! He couldn't pull out! Over G! Great to see that's modelled. I mean, that would literally crush a pilot's spine trying to, you know, pull the half stick at a thousand knots. It would smash him up. So that was all pretty realistic, to be honest. Five more kills against MiG, and we have wiped out their fleet. Wow. Yep. Well, they are over top of us. The closest one's 50 miles. Kill them. They're firing they're... on me as soon as I get off the ground. It's just legacy missiles, guys. They're not anywhere near you. Fire Dad could start sending some missiles hot. And yeah, there you go. Birds firing some missiles. Got to keep them cold, so let's get some pressure on them. Although these MiGs have died more than tw nearly twice as much as you guys, they put up a damn good fight. They've flown really well today. So kudos to the MiG pilots. Next batch of RBS uh, vampires going in. Someone just ripped, War Dogs just rippled them all out. Bang, bang, bang. Gotta keep them on the toes. Yep, yeah. right now there are some missiles. Actually, I can't say it. Heavens, I wouldn't want to be that cheating, that guy who cheats, guys. I want to be that guy. Keep the pressure going on, guys. Keep those meteors in, in flying. Oh, look. These little. Terrors are shooting the missiles down. I'm not sure what these are. RBS is shot and killed. Splash. Well done. One more in the air. One more in the air, and the other one's just a damaged one. Uh oh. Uh -uh. Yeah, Good lost splash. Mig. That's it, guys. 21 down. One's on the carrier. I don't think it's gummed up. I think it's just landed. Others are unaccounted for. Maybe they hit. The, they shot each other. They hit the ground. It didn't count as a kill for some reason. <laughs> wow. Well done, guys. I did see one at the, uh, their carrier shot down their own plane. Ah, uh, yeah, so there you go. That stuff like that will happen. One of you is still uh, in ATM with an R-77, so try and dodge it. Other than that, guys, uh, why don't you get to the approach point 10 miles off the runway and come in for a formation landing to celebrate, and then I'll debrief. <laughs> uh, it buys me some time to watch some RBS 15s going. Mr. Putin in ulterior... Uh, Universe is not going to be happy with his attack, I don't think, guys. Or maybe it will, I don't know. Didn't hit the subs. Yes, he did. Uh, there's one sub oh, left. One sub, the uh, 
Cruise missiles got through. You'll see it in the video, but yeah, they just, yeah, they just oversaturate. Yeah, so one sub left. The sub is what they thought was the most damaging asset of the of the Swedish force. They weren't too worried about the Corvettes. They weren't too worried about the Gripens because, you know, they're things they can see coming at the end of the day. Subs, very dangerous, nasty things, and they wanted to take them out, and they kind of have to be on this. Come out west of the base, we can at least form up in a clearing. Oh, guys, yeah. someone's going to make jokes somewhere, but a Moscow is on fire. The Moscow is on fire. Being promoted to submarine. And it's out of ammo. Oh, Moscow. It's happened again, even in alternate reality. Oh, it defended itself. Well, I mean, if you if you submerge the whole ship, it'll put out the fires. Right? I think that's how they fixed the Moscow the first time. Um, it is defending itself in its capital. Oh, there you go. Uh, whoever just came out of this clearing hit a left orbit. We got it west of the base and climbing at uh, a high rate. Hey, watch. Tell him there's someone airborne. Oh, two Something vampires just smashed the Moscow. Moscow is down to red health. <laughs> About to be very dead. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, I'm very sick, Valley viewers. Been very hard setting this up while I can barely breathe, but. Just about got it done. Hashtag don't do COVID. Good advice. I got a tally on the flight. Moscow's dead. Sorry. Again. Old 80s oh. ships, man. Ah, brilliant. Dead. Uh, Simba in the lead, please go down and land. Do you know where the runway is? Oh, yeah, I know where it is. It's my guys, my sexy, sexy greeting guys. Got that lovely bit of uh, Sweden down there. Because you don't look too hard, it is definitely Sweden. Oh, oh yeah, that's going to be a 50 knot crosswind, by the way, guys. Because I've got a storm in, as you probably noticed. So, uh, suck it up. Sorry about the lag, viewers. I don't know what's doing it. Reasons, probably. Oh, we're landing this direction. I'm actually not sure if this plane has wheel brakes in game or not, so uh, I guess you'll find out. Does it have a parachute, does anyone know? You're landing Simba. Well done. Oh, boys. Formation no, landing. This is the Or the canards. Oh, yeah, it's the canards, isn't it? Well done, you look. Right, the reds at the end of that. Uh oh, I can see a thing's gonna happen. Good dodge. The reds have lost uh, Moskva again. The reds have lost their one active Kirov battlecruiser, which is again not surprising. They're big old things, they're not optimal on spec, I don't think. MiG 29 KRs, they've lost the entire new squadron of 25, that'll be. Uh, the blue losses, they lost two Corvettes. Visibly, they're only Corvettes, but they're actually pretty good, pretty expensive as well. Four submarines, which is the main thing. That was the main Russian prize, was the four submarines. Uh, half of their Gripen squadron, ten Gripens. But they've still got ten, which are now would be coming back to recharge. So that was really interesting how it out terminated, guys. In terms of who won, I don't know if anyone really won. Russia sort of got what they want, but they lost their entire squadron and two big patriotic ships. The Reproachers are still going, but the Reproachers don't have that big heavy gun guard anymore. So I don't even know if they will carry on going, if they'll turn around and run away, I don't know. Let me know what you think. That's a bit of a mare. The Swedish wanted to defend themselves, so in a way they failed because they lost their submarines, or most of them, but in a way they won because they did much more damage. And you bought time now, because what would happen now is these, these Gripens here would rearm with RBSs and keep punching these Baltic fleet and keep them at bay until more guys can come in an hour or so, where, where more guys would come. So, who won? I think it was... Maybe 50 50. Does anyone know? I know you guys weren't busy watching, but anyone got any ideas? Uh, the Swedish Blondes won. <coughs> I, would, I would say the Vikings won because uh, they fended off the attack. Mm -hmm. Russia can't continue. They, Not really. Russia, Russia we have air superiority, won. so we would just mm -hmm. uh, anti ship them now. Russia was on the offense and they weren't able to con continue through with it. So. All, right. All right. And everything worked as well, which was rare. Usually something doesn't work, so I'm glad we put the work. Thanks for Current Hill for all his help and getting everything working. Um, I hope you enjoyed that, guys. And let's hope it doesn't happen in real life. Bye-bye.